Hi, today I'm going to show you how to get into Lippincott Health Library books when you are off campus. So um, I'm going to just show you here that my Wi-Fi is showing the cloud. That is an off-campus, non-proprietary to the, to the university Wi-Fi. And so it's just, for me, it's just as if you are at home or on holiday or wherever. So I'm gonna go have a look at my workbook, and here I can see suggested additional resource. It says Langman's Medical Embryology. Well, if I open that in Safari, then it takes me to this uh, sign-in page. Well, I might be tempted to try to sign in, but um, I just tell you, don't, don't even do that because it won't work. In fact, we're trying to figure out uh, if I can get it to work, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to show you how to get around that problem anyway. So you just go into this uh, Safari uh, up at the top and you type in uh, le.ac.uk slash library, which is uh, how to get into the university library. And uh, this is really good for you to be familiar with anyway. And so this uh, red box at the upper left is a very um, useful area. So if I touch the tab that says my subject, then this drop down menu here, I am able to select medicine. And then I touch go. Now, here I am in the uh, site where all the medical resources are gathered for us. And you see this section at the right here, books and ebooks. And there we see Lippincott, Williams, and Wilkins ebooks. So you touch that, and this takes us to all of the um, uh, resources for that, uh, that publisher. Now, I would suggest that that medical embryology book, the easiest way to find it within here, is to just click on texts. And then here at the left, Embryology. And then right there you see Langman's Medical Embryology in the red. So I'm just touching that. And here we are. I've got everything. And uh, I've just touched into Chapter 4. And I'm going to go back. And uh, here I am. I'm in this book even though I am off campus. And now to make it really easy on myself, up at the top, there is the icon, which is a square with the uh, arrow pointing up. I'm going to touch that, and then I'm going to select Add to Home Screen, and I'm going to add that. And there it is. Now it's on my home screen, and even though I am indeed still in the cloud and I'm off campus, but I can definitely get into that book. And you can do that with any of your books. I really suggest that adding them to your home screen is just a handy way for you to keep up on your reading. So there we are.